half a day, my fellow Guamanians. The government is struggling with its ailments. Its financial health is weak. In fact, if the government of Guam was a person, he or she would probably be in the hospital. And speaking of hospitals, the Guam Memorial Hospital is facing more serious challenges than any other agency or department. It also has a pivotal role to play in our island community. Unfortunately, when the hospital is suffering, it also means our sick, our manamku, and our children also suffer. A cash-strapped hospital means not enough medicine to prescribe. It means there aren't enough clean beds. It means there aren't enough nurses or doctors. I can't get past many of the deficiencies at the Guam Memorial Hospital. We are a modern community living in the 21st century, yet our only civilian hospital runs out of blood products and can't even provide painkillers to women in labor. Patients wait hours to see a doctor. Nurses are working multiple shifts because there's a shortage. And floors are strewn with bloodied medical waste and water-soaked linens. Lieutenant Governor Tenorio and I know this because we toured the hospital last week to see for ourselves these problems. I know this as a father because my eldest daughter was in so much pain when the hospital used a dull blade to cut off her arm cast. You know about these problems and more from your experiences with the hospital. The staff shines, but they can only do so much with the little they get. And that's why I authorized $12 million in financing as soon as I could. It will inject much needed cash to care for our most vulnerable. When it comes to the safety of our elderly, the education of our students, or the health of our sick, this government will do all it can to shield them from any economic storm. During these tough financial times, one principle will guide this administration. Do the least harm to those that are in most of need. All public servants have a fiduciary responsibility to Guamanians but for institutions like the Guam Memorial Hospital, where actions or inactions could cost lives, it is even more important to have the right people in place. I met some fantastic people when I toured the hospital. The employees I talked with were energetic, bright, and polite. And they were excited about the assistance they would get soon, but also acknowledged more help was needed. With bold leadership, the hospital can begin its journey to better financial health and stronger operations. Ray and I will be there to provide the support that the Guam Memorial Hospital needs to improve its services for you. And we mean business. The hospital is not a place for politics or for excuses. When you go there, you are placing your life in the hospital's hands. We don't take that responsibility lightly, and we will not tolerate anyone who does. And to this end, we are working with the leadership of the hospital to make some much-needed changes. Ray and I promised you change and a positive new direction, and we're delivering on that promise. Thank you, and good night.